Ah, fine, don't use the cheap wire, they say. Ah, you're gonna break something, they say. Oh, what do they know? Now work, damn it! Um, hello? WORK YOU MISERABLE GARBAGE BABY?! Yeah, that can happen if you cross the wrong wires. Well, not to repeat the performance. I will sell you to Brexit supporters if you don't start working right now, you penguin rapist! I'm here to tell you which wires not to cross, or rather, what to pick for the core modules. The most important part of the ship. Much like most engineering, the amount of choice is overwhelming, but in reality they're real. Meaningful choice is only one. Maybe two if you're lucky and the system is not completely bad for that module. So, what are we waiting for? Oh, an ad spot. Right. After all, the whole series is literally brought to you by the amazing patrons who encourage the creation of it. So, if you too want to support the work that I do here, I'll head to my Patreon page. Link for that will be down below. Weirdo builds and maxed out nonsense, this is the topic of today. Like your racist uncle at the Christmas party, it can be a force of pure laughter or abysmal depression. It's time to look into the niche tier of core internal module engineering. Get that sick bucket ready, we're getting in deep now. Starting with the fast boot sequence for the FSD. On one hand, it sounds like a pretty neat upgrade for traders and outlaws who want to jump out sooner than the other guy. Well, from experience I can tell you, this while it works in some cases is a waste of time. Now, after testing myself in a rather hazardous environment called open play and streaming, my success rate was rather low. Considering that even with faster boot sequence, you will get eventually interdicted if the other asshole is coming after you. But if it's a wing, you're fucked seven ways from sun Sunday, with or without this. I would recommend learning how to high wake instead of this, but up to you, really. Ah, the power distributor. Okay, so engine focused upgrade then. Can, and I say can be useful for max speed builds. That's it, you would not otherwise sacrifice the other two aspects, cause it's dumb. So only useful for racing ships. Now if only Lee had racing game mode, hmm, right? As for the weapon focus, well, I can understand it, but even less. Still, it is possible to use it somewhere, yet me thinks that it only is picked by noobs who know not what sins they have committed. But what about experimentals? Well, the cluster capacitors. While in the previous part I did mention that full capacity upgrade is garbage, this makes a little bit more sense as its impact is not as great, so depending on your build it can be useful as that niche one little situation. Oh, and speaking of a niche, stripped down. Okay, so here's the thing. While in these videos I tend to sort by modules and not the upgrades like in the other ones, here's an exception. Any module that has stripped down effect pretty much is only and only used for max jump range builds. As a matter of fact, I have made a video on maxing out my anaconda, so go check out info on that. There'll be a link in the description or whatnot else. But there you go. Only good for max jump range builds and maybe explorers in general. And of course, this is available not only on, of course, uh, the power distributed, but also power plant and thrusters, so there you go. Speaking of power plant, interesting that there are no must avoid upgrades on it. Everything seems to have a purpose. So then, probably the best one for PvP niche is armor. See, once power plant reaches 0%, not only power is reduced or malfunctions, but every strike after reaching 0% will have a chance to detonate your ship. So be that 50% of hull or 90 even. If that effect triggers, Oh boy, you're dead. You're dead. So some PvP and even PvE scrubs use this, but if you're PvE and use this, then uh, you don't know how to build shields and have earned the dunce cap. But what about the low emissions? Hmm. Well, that can be used for explorer builds to allow better fuel scooping. Or if you're weird and fly diamondbacks, well, maybe a stealth build could be a thing. Yeah, maybe. Oh, but as for experimentals, well, the story is literally the same. More armor or less heat. That is, double braced or thermal spread, so... Um, 
Yeah, let's move on. Sensors then. Well, if you hate stealth builds, maybe sensors could help you with long range? Though usually this upgrade is for some weird long range combat builds that you don't really see that often anymore. But hey, there you go. After that, thrusters. Only experimentals this time. So I did mention strip down just a few moments ago. But the other ones, the double brace. This, contrary to the armored base upgrade, makes sense. This is just a little extra topping, not the whole cheesecake. So it can be a little something something topping if you need it but everyone usually min maxes the fuck out of everything so i'm not even sure that this is a good choice and finally bulkheads <sighs> the same old resistance talk yeah sure blast and kinetic resistance and bases can be useful sure but when it's easier and frankly simpler to just go full ham and strap every saucepan and piece of cutlery to your ship for protection who needs resistances well apparently those few people who want to min max everything on their builds for resistances and whatnot else, so uh, there you go. Though, you see, Yamis is kind of a lazy fuck, so I usually go for max amounts of illegal and legal drugs, so such thing as modicum on my ships really doesn't exist. And when Celine Jean offers to make your ship so hard, it'll punch a hole straight to a station. What do you think is gonna happen? And that's it. The niche components for core modules, mainly the little things that not many pick, but for something like max jump range explorer builds, well, frankly, that would be the only option and only way to travel. Regardless, let me know what you think down below, and maybe you have some interesting builds to share as well. So feel free to share your self flagellator 9000. But more importantly, do share the video and all that good stuff. But as a side, next up we have the go to choice for core engineering. Uh, what else can I say? It's the go to. But alternatively, if you want to learn of what you must avoid, well, there's that list available for you as well. As for me, well, I got to fix this stupid shit before I can do anything.